international one, uh, not only for, for Madagascar, but uh, uh, for uh, AFAS in general, because uh, it forms part of uh, the lessons, uh, part of uh, the lessons which can be learned by the others. Just very quickly, uh, like the chairperson presented, uh, AFAS, of course, uh, uh, is linked up to the GIFRAS, which she presented uh, as one of the global uh, uh, organizations, and specifically GIFRAS uh, is a representative of uh, the global extension and advisory services uh, fraternity and stakeholders. And AFAS is, uh, is one of the leading, uh, in fact, is the leader uh, uh, as one of the organization, continental organizations. Uh, for, for, for GIFRAS network. AFAS itself has grown rapidly. Uh, it is now boasts of uh, uh, two regional organizations, uh, for West and Central Africa, and SAFAS uh, for Southern Africa. And uh, certainly Madagascar uh, FCA is a very important uh, component of that regional um, organization uh, of SAFAS. Next page. Um, uh, Afas, as you, uh, I'm not sure you are, you are, you are, I'm sure you are very familiar with, uh, with Afas now, but uh, very quickly, uh, just to cap up, uh, we have a vision and a mission which uh, we espouse and uh, as much as possible, uh, try to follow and implement. Uh, our vision really touches on effectiveness and efficiency. Uh, of agricultural advisory services, which should contribute uh, to sustain productivity and profitability and the growth of African agriculture uh, for poverty reduction. Our mission, which is specific to us and where we push very much to promote, and uh, your meeting is certainly part of it, is to promote lesson learning and professionalism and add value to national cultural extension and advisory services systems. And uh, <coughs> the areas where we focus our attention to and encourage at all levels, and more specifically at country level, is uh, cross-country exchanges and learning, as well as partnerships. Uh, the other ones are collaboration and synergies uh, in the pluralistic national cultural extension and advisory services. And I'm glad that in this dialogue meeting that you are holding, uh, its focus is mostly on that, pluralistic. And I can see private sector are there, farm organizations are there, uh, public workers are there, and the Ministry of Agriculture is also there. Uh, the other area is more national investment in agricultural sector, which is part of really of Malabo Declaration. Uh, and uh, uh, which, uh, which talks of 10%. Uh, of GDP should go to agriculture, uh, where the CADA process is also pushes under the Malabo Declaration. And the R and last area is really, really results and impacts at grassroots levels. Uh, uh, as you know, a cultural extension advisory services workers as the last phase of, of the professional systems in agriculture, uh, the last professionals uh, at the grassroots level, uh, agricultural extension and advisory services, who interface uh, with the farmers at that grassroots level. Uh, so uh, we espouse the issues of impact at that level. And as you work today, and uh, in your specific meeting, and uh, continue to work, you have to have a bold vision of your system. Think big, at the same time focus, Strategize to be effective and efficient with available resources uh, from various players uh, and stakeholders, from government, uh, from um, donor communities, and other uh, organizations. And try as much as possible to excel and be a model for others so that they can learn uh, what you have mastered. And specifically for Madagascar, um, I think uh, Andre can attest to that. There have been 
very strong model for others to learn, especially in ICT areas. And uh, even before the, the country fora came in place, ICT uh, was, 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 was being implemented, ICT issues, uh, the, the communications, knowledge management, and so on. Uh, Madagascar has been excelling in it. And I would pray that uh, that's an area uh, where you can promote and be uh, champions in and continue being champions. But of course, there are other areas. Uh, and uh, this meeting, of course, is about, can, can focus on also the issue of uh, uh, a pluralistic extension system where the private sector plays a big role, farm organizations play a big role in the private and the public sector, public sector as well. <clears throat> and um, and uh, all these have to work hand in hand to ensure that there's, uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's efficiency, there's effectiveness through collaboration and teamwork, and uh, more specifically through a robust knowledge management system, um, more specifically ICT. And uh, I think you're aware under COVID that has been the mode of operations now uh, using uh, 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 Zoom, using other modalities, using internet, using phone, using radios, uh, using print media and so on and so forth. Yeah, so basically what I would wish and pray for is that uh, you have a very good uh, meeting today, uh, very productive. And also just to let you know that uh, we are going to have a fifth extension week in Uganda this, this year in November. Uh, you don't have to be there physically, all of you, uh, because uh, it's be, it will be online as well, uh, just like this one is. So thank you very much, Merci, and uh, I wish you a productive meeting. Thank you very much.